Eight strangest brain disorders you will not believe are real. Mirrored self-misidentification. Commonly associated with dementia, mirrored self-misidentification is a condition in which a person is unable to recognize their own reflected image. When the person sees in the mirror, they see a stranger rather than seeing themselves. What makes this condition even more strange is that people with this condition cannot recognize their own reflected image. But in most cases, they can recognize the reflected images of the people they know. Astasia Abasi This condition is as bizarre as its name. A French doctor, Paul Bloch, first described this condition, and therefore it is also known as Bloch's disease. The condition is characterized by the inability to stand or walk properly. But that's not it. There's more to it. Initially, the affected individual appears very drunk. They lurch when they try to stand or walk and appear to be a threat to themselves. The affected individuals overbalance, always catching themselves at the last moment. But that's what's strange, they almost always catch themselves. Erotomania a rare disorder, erotomania, is a condition where a person, usually a woman, has a delusional belief that a person, usually an older man of higher status, has fallen in love with them. This condition can exist independently or as a part of a wider psychotic disorder such as schizophrenia. There was an instance where a woman went to a news presenter's home to tell him that they were going to get married. She even tried to remove his wife from the house. Cops were called, for obvious reasons, and she was taken to a local psychiatric hospital. Dysomimia This is a strangely specific condition. The cause of this condition is unknown, but it stops the affected individuals from understanding hand gestures or hand signals. For them, common gestures for wait, stop sit or stand suddenly becomes incomprehensible. And it does not matter if they knew their meanings before they were diagnosed with dysomimia. Even if they knew their meaning previously, they won't be able to comprehend it. It is really very specific. Capgras syndrome. A rare neurological condition, Capgras syndrome makes a person believe that a close acquaintance like a parent, partner or sibling, has been replaced by an imposter. This condition can occur in a number of brain diseases such as Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's dementia. The condition was named after a renowned French psychiatrist, Joseph Capgras. For instance, in 1923, Capgras reported about a woman who believed her husband, children and many of her friends were replaced by impersonating doppelgangers. Qatar Syndrome This condition can result in the delusional belief of being deceased. Thankfully, Qatar Syndrome is a rare disorder. In 1880, a French neurologist, Dr. Jules Qatar, published details of the strange case of a 43-year-old woman who believed she had no nerves, brain, chest or entrails. The doctor believed that she had developed a new type of melancholic despair whose symptoms included thoughts of damnation or possession, insensitivity to pain, self-destruction behavior and delusions of non-existence. Or bequeath a disease. An extremely rare genetic disorder, or bequeath a disease leads to calcification of the brain. As the condition progresses, there is one part of the brain where calcification is likely to occur, and that is the amygdala. The purpose of the amygdala is to keep you safe, it's a threat detection system. When necessary, the amygdala will trigger a biological state of fear by way of bodily response. When the amygdala is effectively destroyed, it results in a complete and utter lack of fear. Witzelzucht Witzelzucht comes from the German word for a joke, wits and addiction, sucked. A rare brain disorder, 
Witzelsucht is associated with brain disease, strokes and infections and their symptoms include compulsive pun making and inappropriate joking. It looks like Chandler from Friends had this syndrome. Okay, jokes aside, this is a serious condition. The fact that a change in a person's sense of humor may be symptomatic of neuropsychiatric disease can be traced back as far as the 1880s. Hermann Oppenheim, a pioneering neurologist, published details of patients with right frontal lobe malignancy who appeared addicted to sarcastic joking. Which of these brain disorders do you think is the strangest?